The Theban Legion was a well-trained legion of 6,600 Christian men from Thebes in Upper Egypt, in the year 286, who were enlisted into the Imperial Roman Army. Their bravery and commitment to Jesus Christ was remarkable, and was recorded many years later by Theodore, Bishop of Octuderm, and Eucherius, Bishop of Lyons. According to ancient records, this legion was commanded by Mauritius, a Christian. They were ordered by the Roman Emperor to march over the Alps and destroy an insurrection. As soldiers, they did as they were commanded and beat down the enemy. As a sign of victory, the Emperor issued a decree for all soldiers to take the oath of allegiance, which meant that all should worship the Emperor as divinity. The Theban Legion, who served Christ as their king, could not obey this order. Commander Mauritius sent a message to the Emperor that stated in part, Emperor, we are your soldiers but also the soldiers of the true God. We owe you military service and obedience, but we cannot renounce him who is our creator and master, and also yours, though you reject him. We have taken an oath to God before we took one to you. You commanded us to execute Christians, behold we are such. We confess God the Father, the Creator of all things, and His Son Jesus Christ. Behold, we have arms in our hands, but we do not resist, because we would rather die innocent than live by any sin. Rather than being proud of such brave men under his command, the Emperor became enraged. He ordered that one out of every six in the legion be executed. The soldiers drew random numbers and 660 soldiers were killed. When the soldiers would still not bend the knee to the Emperor, he ordered another 600 soldiers be killed. When the soldiers still would not bow, he ordered all of them slaughtered. So on September 22nd, in the year 286, all 6,600 of the Theban Legion lay dead on the battlefield, killed by order of their own commander-in-chief. Centuries later, in the year 515, a monastery was built in the place near their martyrdom, to honor their faith, and sacrifice that they made for their King of Kings, Jesus Christ. The soldiers in the Theban Legion understood that their first loyalty was to God. They fought for Rome, but their commitment as soldiers went only as far as God allowed. They chose to obey God rather than a man, just as Jesus' disciples did. They were able to do so boldly because they feared God more than man, and their hopes were in the eternal home that God had prepared for them. Praise be to God who gives us sinners such boldness, and assurance. The Holy Spirit who resides in believers in Jesus Christ gives us that assurance and faith in the Eternal. Let no man think that he is above God, for as the Scriptures say, God is in heaven and earth is his footstool. To him alone do we give glory, praise, and honor, for he is good and his love is everlasting.